Hello and welcome to Baiju's exam prep IAS. The big news for today is that the heat wave is hitting the entire country extremely hard, so much so that many people have passed away due to a heat stroke. Today we'll be discussing how about 13 people passed away in Mumbai because of a heat wave disaster. But before we go deeper into today's topic, there's a very very important announcement for all of you. As part of our All India Pilgrims 2023 test series, we are offering you a great chance to test yourself by giving a free of cost all India mock test. This will be a full length mock test available from the 23rd of April at 9.30 am. You can give it till 25th of April 11.30 am. Make sure that you grab this golden opportunity to test your preparation against other aspirants as well. This is the chance where before the prelims examination you must know where you stand as compared to your other competitors. Don't forget to register for this test by using the link given in the description of the video. Now, as we discussed, heat stroke has actually taken multiple lives across the entire country. However, the biggest news is coming in from Maharashtra. 13 people passed away in Navi Mumbai while they were attending a government award function which was happening in the open space. The worst part is the heat wave has not even gone to its extreme strength in Maharashtra so far as per the Indian Meteorological Department. This year, the heat wave conditions developed even in the month of February, which is usually a cooler month. March was much, much warmer as compared to what usual March months are. We have seen how in West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Bihar and other parts of the country also, heat waves have started much, much before time. And this trend will only become worse in the coming days. Now, before going into details of how and what will be the impact of the heat waves, let's first understand the official definition of a heat wave. As you know, the IMD or the Indian Meteorological Department classifies heat waves according to different regions and their temperature ranges. So for a plain area, heat wave may be different as compared to how a hilly area would have a heat wave. The number of instances of heat waves have been increasing year on year as per the IMD. Let's look at the definition of what exactly is a heat wave. Heat wave is considered when maximum temperature of a station reaches 40 degrees Celsius for planes or at least 30 degrees Celsius for the hilly areas. Over here also, there are certain criteria. If the normal maximum temperature of a station is less than or equal to 40 degrees, then an increase of 5 to 6 degree from the normal temperature is considered as a heat wave condition. On the other hand, if temperature goes beyond 7 degrees Celsius as compared to normal temperature, it is then categorized as severe heat wave condition. On the other hand, if the normal temperature of a station anyways is more than 40 degrees Celsius, then 4 to 5 degrees Celsius increase from the normal temperature would be called as a heat wave while 6 degree or more would come in the category of severe heat wave condition. Also, if actual maximum temperature remains 45 degrees Celsius, irrespective of the normal maximum temperature, heat wave will have to be declared. And that is why, as you see, multiple parts of the country are already facing severe heat wave, including the northern part and the western part of the country as well. Now, the problem with the heat wave is that it has a lot of negative impact on various activities. It obviously has economic impact, especially for those who are working out in the open. Think about the migrant laborers. Think about the workers that are working out in the open. Think about the construction workers. Because they can't work in such drastic conditions, that is why the economic activity is also reduced. The economic activity still sustains when it comes to white collar jobs, people who are sitting in their offices. However, when it comes to people who are working out in the open, the heat wave is at its worst. It also has a negative impact on agricultural sector. A lot of crops are destroyed, especially the crops that are sensitive to a certain temperature range. Farmers in Haryana, Punjab, UP, etc. have already reported losses in their wheat crop because of the extreme heat wave. Not just the crops, even livestock are also vulnerable to heat waves. Researchers at Cornell University estimate that if the estimation continues, by 2100, milk yields in India could drop by one quarter, which will be very, very detrimental to India as we are a very, very large milk and milk products consuming country. Obviously, the more the heat waves, the more will be the fans, AC, coolers, etc. 
so the electricity usage will increase human mortality as we discussed in case of mumbai and food insecurity which is directly related to the impact on agriculture the problem is the weaker section of the society is hit the hardest because they are the ones who have to work out in the open think about the delivery boys who are delivering food or parcels to your place think about the daily street vendors those who have to be out in the open to sell their products all these will be negatively impacted due to this heat wave as you can see in the past few years a lot of people have lost their lives due to heat related instances 2022 33 people the reason why you see very low numbers in 2020 and 2021 is because of the lockdown because of the lockdown most of the people were not outdoors they were sitting indoors and that is why the number of deaths were low but usually the number of deaths are considerably high when it comes to heat related instances now the point is what exactly can we do about it we have to understand a part of it is a natural phenomena and we can't control it but a part of it can also be because of the reason which are in our control for example we need to have a heat waves action plan the government needs to have better policies that will make sure that people are not impacted for example the office timings the school timings the timings of work all of these have to be changed with regards to how the temperature actually changes we also have to implement the sendai framework for disaster risk reduction to ensure that all the stakeholders even in the private sector and the ngos etc are brought to the same table we also need to have early warning systems so that when people are traveling when people are going out of their homes they know what to expect when it comes to weather they know what to expect what should they take with them the kind of clothes umbrella water etc heat wave should also be considered as a natural disaster so that the government of india can use more resources the government of india can also use more of its agencies to rescue people when they are at risk and also the local level preparedness has to be checked for example availability of drinking water availability of sheds so that people can sit out in the open those amenities can make a lot of difference when it comes to heat waves and the people who are out in the open not just this we should also use passive cooling technology which is a widely used technology now in many construction activities our buildings should be well ventilated and the urban heat island effect that we have in most of our cities has also to be looked into because a lot of cities in india be it delhi mumbai bangalore hyderabad pune etc had this urban heat island effect under which they are much warmer as compared to their neighboring rural areas because of the deficiencies in construction the ipcc report also says that if india adopts its ancient building designs and adapt modern facilities to it it can work wonders in fight against this climate change problem which includes heat waves as well not just this one of the bigger reasons why a lot of cities have higher temperature as compared to nearby rural areas is because of concrete construction and dark roofs and roads all of these dark colored roads roofs etc absorb a lot more heat as compared to nearby areas all these factors can result in small difference at the ground level which can ensure that the people who are losing their life because of the heat waves are protected in the long run this is it for today's big news video i hope by now you have already subscribed to our youtube channel and are a part of our telegram channel if not please do hit the subscribe button and please join our telegram channel by using the link given in the description of the video thank you so much for watching have a good day ahead jai hind